A message here says, dear sisters, I'm in a dilemma. I'm a young man in my mid-30s, having a good job with good pay, married with three children, and having serious marital challenges. I met a lady in my community last year. She's also married with three kids, of which two are sickle cell carriers. She also has issues with her husband. Now, we became friends, shared secrets, made plans, and we fell in love. We dated for six months. <clears throat> Sisters, our six months of dating seemed like five years of dating. We found happiness in each other and we're good to go. My friend has just changed all of a sudden since the beginning of this year. Either it was a New Year's resolution to stop the affair or she's fed up or has patched things up perhaps with her hubby. She ignores my calls, my messages. Even when I want to see her, she keeps giving excuses. She made me fall in love. She was just a sweet woman that every man would love to be with. And now I'm hurt, heartbroken and confused. I feel I've been used and dumped. Sisters, what do you think? <laughs> Oh, wow. Sorry, I rolled my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the camera didn't catch that. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I think this highlights something that's been happening a lot. Um, well, I can speak for the Ghanaian community, the Ghanaian society, where married people are dating other married people um, because they're running away from the challenges in their marriages. Mm. They're not willing to face them. They're not willing to walk out if it's reached that point because they're worried about what society will say. So then you get yourself into this nasty love. This one is not a triangle. It's like, what, a rectangle, a square? square. You know, where you, you go home every night. You have to sleep by your husband or your wife. You have to play mom or dad to their kids. You have to be the homemaker, the provider. But you sleep and you're hurting because the one you say you love is with somebody else. What kind of life is that? Yeah. Now, it could be one of two things. Either this woman was just looking for an escape. You gave her a bit of that and she's okay, and she's decided to work on her marriage, or she's feeling very guilty and has said, you know what, if I'm going to take another step, it needs to be done the right way. Right. And so I, I, I'm just going to sort of wean myself off of this gentleman. Unfortunately, you're burnt, but really, you should have known what you're getting yourself into. You're married to someone else. She's married to someone else. You should have known from the beginning that unless the two of you said from day one or after your, your five months, is it, mm. of dating that, look, okay, we love each other. I'm leaving him. Um, I'm leaving her. Let's be together and then start our own life. You should have known that something like this could have happened. Right. Now, unfortunately, you can't go and talk to your wife. You may not even be, talk be able to talk to your friends if, if you, you, you belong to a certain faith, whether it's your, your Muslim or Christian brothers. You can't talk to anybody about it. Maybe a psychologist, mm. if you can find one. But I would say just try to move on. It's messy. It's messy. You don't want to put yourself in that kind of thing. It means when you go to work, you're thinking about it. Mm. You're having conversations. You, some people even start taking situations like this out on their kids. Right. It's a very messy situation that puts you in a state of mind that you yourself do not deserve to have. So if you're unhappy in your marriage, do what needs to be done. Have a conversation with your wife. If you think the marriage is beyond repair, let's go our separate ways. Then you can go and be with whoever you want to be. But don't also bring hurt and, and rain curses on your family because of your actions, just because you're unwilling to tackle the real problem, right. which is your marital issues. Mm. Mm. All right, Libby. <laughs> Every time I wonder, because usually they say the first two years of marriage sometimes is hard, depending on the, the foundation of the relationship. But bottom line, before you guys decided to say I do, you guys loved each other. Mm. You were happy. The day you were going down the aisle, you couldn't help but see the woman, the love of your life. There was an origin. Your relationship started from somewhere whereby you loved this person. Right? So the challenges come up. What is so hard about going back to basics? I, 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 it's, it's a tough world out there. And... If you love someone, I don't see why you can't work towards making sure that the relationship comes back to where it used to be. It's different if um, you got married because you were forced to marry the person and you guys didn't have love. Even that, 
There are situations whereby the love grows. Right. But for me, once you start a relationship and it starts with love, you can't keep your hands each off each other and you finish and you get married. I don't see why when problems begin, you should look for love out of your marriage. Go back to the basics. Ask yourself, what can I do to make my marriage better? Speak to whoever, speak to your partner. Yes, we always say speak, speak, speak. But if she's not getting your ear, find somebody she respects and let that person speak to her. I don't think that the problem, whatever it is that was going on prior you cheating on your wife with this other woman was was something that has never happened before. Marital, people go through stuff. Yours wouldn't have been the first and wouldn't have been the last. Having said that, I don't think that you guys couldn't have worked at it. I'm using this platform as an opportunity to ask some men out there who are married nowadays these questions. Before you guys get married, there are no kids. You guys have time for each other. You can go out, you can lovey-dovey and stuff. When children come in, sometimes I feel I could be wrong, but it, it's our fault as women. We, we, we become super women and we don't get the men involved as much. Mm. You find out ma married women, they're cooking 24 seven. The men don't have time, the, the men don't make an effort to take them out. Rather than have her sit and wash a whole bucket of stuff, get a washing machine, get somebody to come and wash, pay the person, let your wife look young, let your wife feel loved. Mm. Women don't just shut down. Women just don't shut down. Talk about it. Maybe it's your fault, but this is you just thinking that, oh, things were so bad in my relationship, therefore I met somebody. My point is, my point is it wasn't right for you to have done that. Now you've done it, you're in love. Nobody asked you to get out of your marriage. I'm sorry. Hmm. She doesn't, she's the other women, woman you cheated on, she's seen the light. She's no longer interested in, in you. Tough luck. You know what you can do? You can get off your sorry bum and go and work on your marriage for crying out loud and leave this woman to deal with whatever she has to deal with in her marriage. Think about it. How would you feel if your wife did the same to you? Like, like snap out of it already. Stop being childish. Decide. Your wife is giving you problems. Work on them. Make it work. Let her love you back. Earn her love back. Do whatever you have to do. And don't forget, you have children in the mix of all this nonsense. That's what just drives me crazy. Mm, when you're going out there and messing up, I'm sure you're even having sex with this woman without protection at the expense of your wife and her health and not even taking into consideration that you have kids. Like, snap out of your immaturity. Forget about this woman. Allow her to live her life. I'm so happy that she's seen the light and she doesn't want you. I'm so happy. Now, you have time to concentrate on your relationship. And don't go, the fact that you're even going on about uh, what she used me was, what, what are you talking <laughs> about? Used she used them. Yeah. and dumped you. Yeah. Who asked you to go there? You made yourself up. You, it suits me, suit you. Didn't it suit you? That's what it is. Yeah. So leave her alone. Let her sort out her marital stuff. And please work on yours. Work on yours and make it work. You see, you find couples who are out there who are genuinely smiling and who are genuinely happy because it didn't happen overnight. Mm. They work at it every single day. And sometimes when things are really hard, I always say this, go on your knees and pray. You try everything, it doesn't work. Me, I believe in prayer. Pray on it and work at it. But don't give up and find help, find a, a solution out of your marriage. Mm. It won't work. I don't think your your marital problem is impossible. This is just me saying. Right. But snap out of it. Go Livy. <laughs> <laughs> MFL, let's hear you. I live. Um, oh, wow, I completely Sorry. forgot what I was going to say. Okay, um, I do think that sometimes people get married for the wrong reasons. Mm. We, we see this yeah. a lot. When your foundation is shaky, when um, all you have is love and infatuation, you haven't really put in the work, you don't really understand each other's values, then of course, if it's not going well, then your first instinct is to look elsewhere, to find what it is you're looking for in somebody else. Right. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, what he did was wrong or what he did was right. Of course, it's painful, but to also be, um, be in a relationship that doesn't fulfill you, where you don't feel loved and where you feel like you're not, you know, working towards your purpose and you're spending the rest of your life with a person who isn't your person, mm. I feel people, I mean, we're human. People do all sorts of things to satisfy themselves. I don't know what 
the problem was. Obviously, I don't know what the woman was doing wrong. I don't know what he was doing wrong. But he's a human being. And I think if you feel your relationship is lacking in something, seek help. Definitely communicate with your partner. I don't even know if they have that sort of relationship mm. where they can communicate mm. because you should be friends. You should be best friends. Right. You should be able to tell your partner when something's going wrong. So, um, I mean, this has happened... That whole narrative of her using him and her making him fall in love with, wait, with him, wait, him, wait, her making him fall, fall in, in love, love with, with her, her, blah, 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 rolling my eyes, not <laughs> going to address that side of things. But I do think it's worth um, seeking counseling and trying mm. to see if this is a relationship you can build on. If not, then you'll have to move forward because I mean, to your relationship, your marriage, your marital home should be your safe place mm. you know you're, you should be nurturing each other if yeah. you you can't find your purpose or you're not fulfilled with your partner then that's the wrong person for you and right. it's time to move forward so right. you have a lot of thinking to do mm. he definitely does i don't think that uh, the woman used him and dumped him not. actually i just think <laughs> yeah. that she it's a, probably a new year and she's thinking hey you know what i can do better yeah. i can give my relationship or my marriage another shot and i would say take a cue from that you know, do yeah. same, do same, because um, the same woman that you were with and had three kids with, she, I mean, she was with you from the get go. And I believe she d deserves all your love and loyalty. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, maybe, OK, your wandering eye got the best of you. You've messed up. Put that behind you. Come back home. Work on your own marriage. And I'm sure that um, in no times things will begin to look up. I mean, the married people will tell you that yeah. um, it's a cycle. You know, some some days are good, some days yeah. aren't. But you need to push through to keep that relationship going. A couple of your comments coming through. Brown says, go and patch up with your wife and you will realize that your wife is as sweet as that lady. That Treat wife, your true. woman right. <laughs> Kweku says, oh, this man, bah. You're having an affair and you feel used after she stopped dating you? How do you think your wife will feel if she finds out? Be a man. Go and patch up your marriage uh, like the other woman has done. Abrim Pong says, this guy is not serious. You're thinking about a broken heart. What about the other people you both cheated on? Mm -hmm. Edith says, stop looking for happiness in other people's homes. The happiness you seek is in your home. Mm -hmm. Which used are you talking about? You chopped hair. <laughs> she also chopped you. <laughs> or your money is locked up with her. Anyway. Odoninia. Uh, Next time. <laughs> Albert says, he's a confusionist. He's totally kept his wife out of the picture in the name of serious marital challenges. Is it for better, for worse, or for better, we're together, and for worse, we're not. we mess around? Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. Nana says, since you didn't tell us the issue you and your wife have, uh, why don't you go and patch up with her? Mind you, your supposed girlfriend is not a divorcee. Kwesi says, I feel like insulting you, but <laughs> what were you expecting? That you both will continue this path? Thank God she's seen the light. Yeah. It'll be better to go back and sort out your marriage like the man you ought to be. Nonsense. Hey. Prissy says, <laughs> it was wrong in the first place for dating someone's wife. I don't think you'll be happy if you find out that your wife is doing the same thing to you. She has realized it was a mistake and she wants to fix her home. You should do same. Aisha says, ah. God is answering someone's prayers to cause confusion <laughs> between you two. Both of you have put asunder what God himself put together. Good riddance. And finally, David says, eh, Mr. Mid-30s, you know get shame, Abby. Hmm, dear Lord, please blow the trumpets. <laughs> Thank you for watching Sister Sister on your favorite city TV. Remember, it's every Friday night at 9 p.m. And well, if you want more exciting content, then please, by all means, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We call it The City Tube. And don't forget to click on that bell to receive notifications. One take. <laughs> All right, let's go. <clears throat>
Thank you so much for watching Sister Sister on your favorite City TV. Now, don't forget, if you want some more exciting content, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We call it the City Tube. And don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications for fresh updates.